What in the world am I? What is this? Don't do it. Oh! Oh, she did it! Oh! Oh! Oh my goodness, it has been a while since I've done a movie commentary. Obviously, Halloween Ends was recorded before I went on break, so this is my first official movie commentary since I've been back on break. And this movie has been in my watch later list for a long time. Um, I believe some of my favorite reactors have already reacted to this months ago. As you know, I'm always kind of late to the game when it comes to certain horror films or films in general at least in regards to reacting to them and having it on my channel but it is the 2022 film smile i don't think i reacted to the trailer on my channel but i did see the trailer and instantly it reminded me of uh the 2014 film it follows it seems like there's just this entity that kind of haunts you and only the person that's being affected can see it like if you see the person like smiling all weird like it's coming for you i don't really know the full plot which is good yeah if you're new to my channel i hope you subscribe i hope you like this movie commentary you could check out all my other previous movie commentary reactions and reviews in the playlist i'll link it down below or i'll have it up here if you're on your phone or tablet and yeah what am i eating I know I said I'm trying to cut out meat and eat healthier, but I was out doing some errands before I decided to come and record this and I stopped by Wingstop. So I got like the six piece. Uh, the flavor is Hawaiian. I got that, the fries. I didn't get the drink because I don't really drink soda like that, but I do have some water, um, some buy, and... This was an impulse buy, but when I was in the grocery store, I decided to get... This is my favorite. This, for the longest, Cool Ranch was my favorite chips. But now this, the sweet chili one. Oh, spicy sweet chili. Let me get it right. The one in the purple bag, that's my absolute favorite. But without further ado, let's get into Smile. I hope this is scary. Chick fil A fries are top tier. These are mm. anything else, you're just like, mm. Ugh, is that throw up? Why is it lately every time I do these movie commentaries and I'm eating, there's always something nasty at the beginning? I don't think I like this Hawaiian flavor. I should have got something spicy. Oh, the little girl had to see that? No child should have to walk in on something like that. She's sleeping on the job? Mm. She doesn't matter. He must have seen something. She doesn't matter. I think you're having another manic episode. No. She not talking to me like... So far, I'm liking the camera work. I'm thinking of James Wan for some reason. Rose, she has no insurance. Okay, but she needs treatment. The board is down my throat about paying out of pocket for another bed in the residency program. Maybe the board should try giving a shit about the point of our job here once in a time. The tea is exceptionally good today. I'm seeing something. Something no one else can see except for me. Mm. It looks like people, but it's, it's not a person. It pretends to be someone that I know. Sometimes it's a random stranger. Sometimes, sometimes it looks like my grandfather who died in front of me when I was seven. Mm. Do you I'm see telling you, it's, here? it's like the thing from It Follows. Maybe what it's its cousin or something. <laughs> it told me that t today, today's the, today's the day that I'm... <laughs> oh, no. Okay. It said you gonna die tonight. What do we say? 
to the god of death. Not the dead. But how did it start? Like, why is it going after you? Can you look at me, please? Don't tell me you said some ritual or something. Oh my god! It's probably choking the crap out of her. It's too late. Hi, how are you? Oh, I got the chills. Bring it on, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> she, she wasn't ready. Oh! 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 Oh my god! So whatever it is, it like possesses the person it's coming after and then it causes the and she died with a smile on her face. I thought she was gonna do like a joker thing, like take it. You wanna know how I got these scars type of thing. <laughs> so now this is the second incident where she saw somebody die in front of her. I don't know if the woman in the beginning was her mom or her grandmother. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, okay, it was like, mm. It was popping for a minute. <laughs> I'm sorry, these fries are not hitting. Wingstop do better. That's the dude from um, Jennifer's body. Typical is not really a thing here. Right, but she was a head case, yeah? I'm sorry, a head case? Oh, is this going to provide commentary on like mental health, really people with mental health? Opinion of her but before she died, she was smiling. Yeah, she said <laughs> crazy to me. Mm. I really commend people who choose the type of work where... There's a possibility somebody could like die on the job or on your watch. It couldn't be me. I, I would not be able to be, be, I would not be able to sleep at night. That is such a horror movie trope with the door. Hi, how are you? Oh, nope. Get out of this house. Get out. Mm-mm. Get out. A train? Ariana, what are you doing here? <laughs> I mean, lady, you chose to have a kid. Literally impossible. I thought that was Lynn Manuel right? Miranda. <laughs> Alexander Hamilton. My name is Alexander Hamilton. Rose, there have to be plenty of crazies out there who will actually pay you for your time. Stop oh, calling them so crazy much. people, though. Here, and There's people who have actual mental right? health kidding, problems right? and issues and conditions. Rose, and know. then there are she actual, like, crazy killers. Like, crazy people. And they yeah, know they're crazy. Yeah. Like, they're Please aware of what they're doing. You know in these movies, the animal is the first victim. Oh, that cat is gonna be. Mm. You got a smiley cup. Why would you drink from a cup with a smiley face? After what you just seen. When the call came in, I had no idea it was gonna be you. What, is, is this I an know. old flame? You do know she's engaged, right? Oh, she's engaged. I thought she was married. I'm single. Hey, I don't blame you. Shoot your shot. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Oh. Let me rewind. Let me go back. Back it up. Back it up. Oh, heck no. Don't get too close to him. Carl, look at me. You're going to die. You're going to die. You're going to die. Hold this mission is 5115. It's to be restrained. Oh, we 
Wait, he was fine. Oh, it's making her see stuff. He was just taking a nice, good nap, and you interrupted his sleep. Ooh. So far, the movie is kind of moving a bit slow for me. Like, I thought something, like, really huge was going to pop off. At least, like, the first big thing was going to kind of start to happen around now. But I'm still going to watch, you know. Honey, you've got a big storm coming. Like, this is too wide a shot for nothing to be right there Ooh. didn't the girl say it makes you like see and do things this could all be in her head right now are you alone in the house ma'am yes are you sure what hang up are you sure you haven't left something inside rose i will start praying to jesus look behind you please don't I would have went like this so fast if I was her. <laughs> oh, I'm telling you, it, yo, this this entity is not to be to be trifled with, mess with. <laughs> it's worse than the thing from It Follows. Because all it does is follow you. I mean, of course, it kills you when it gets you, but... Hello. Oh, no. This is an entity that messes with your mind? Oh, my goodness. Oh, the cat. The cat's dead. Rose, did you break another glass? <laughs> Is that her name? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh damn! Oh shoot! Oh, I'm sorry guys. That really hurt. <laughs> pulled something just now like my chest that was the best jump scare of this year so far i'm so sorry if you had airpods headphones <laughs> a few moments later <laughs> how did it make you feel oh my god that scared uh, the crap out of me <laughs> have you considered the reason you feel stuck could actually be more about your mother I'm really not trying to relitigate that part of my life right now. So I do not like this shot with her because I feel like something's gonna appear in the background. I feel like I like this movie with the shot so far because it makes you want to like look what's in the background and it gives you that like I feel like in my mind something's going to happen because of the way the shots are like set up. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. And you're not really fine. You just can't get into it because they would never. See, you never know what someone is going through. They have to put on a, a smile Surprise. to keep up with appearances, but you don't know what they're really going through. Wait, you're the therapist, right? Yes, I am. I am. Oh, fantastic. Can I ask for advice? Oh, Lord. She's off the clock. That one's from Aunt Rose. Oh god, what if she packed something crazy in there? Oh lord, oh goodness. Oh my gosh. It's gonna be the dead cat. Where'd you get sweetheart? It's gonna be the dead cat. My heart is racing. Please don't think please don't. Don't do it. Oh! Oh she did it! Oh! Oh! Oh, you just traumatized every kid in there. Hi, how are you? You see her. You have to see her. Please, Holly, tell me that you see somebody. Please. Oh! Oh, damn! Oh! Mm. Damn! Oh, my...
oh my goodness i'm like please don't let it be the cat wow so i'm assuming she killed the cat right i'm not crazy okay and what? it sucks because okay. we as the viewer know what okay. she's going through we know she's not crazy something but everybody else the characters within the movie are to gonna me. say that she's crazy or turning crazy what the f am I supposed to say to respond to this right now? Right. Do you hear yourself? I mean, Jesus Christ, you sound crazy. I am not crazy. Sorry. Sorry. It's not looking so good, though. Mm mm. I feel please, so bad because please. she's right. So this entity likes to play around before it gets you. Because in it follows. It will just follow you. It's not playing no games. It will just pop up. And it will keep chasing you until you decide to like give up and let it get you. Or, spoiler alert, you pass it on to somebody else. If you haven't seen the movie, you, you're not going to understand what I mean by that. But go check it out. I think it's on... It was on Netflix not that long ago. But, you know, just look it up and go see it for yourself. <clears throat> See a shot like this. I'm expecting something to be standing right there in the doorway. Please don't jump out. Hell no. Nah. It said come here. Nope. I'm bracing myself for another jump scare. Oh, that's her mom. Please help me. Ooh. <laughs> This movie, it has been giving me chills. Like just, oh. And one jump scare, but chills. That night the police called and told me he was dead. They asked me to identify his body. Woo! Jeez. 25 years of marriage and that's what I have left to remember him. Mm. <laughs> Now that image is in my head. He kept saying it was trying to get inside of him. She should not be in the car driving if she's seeing things. Okay, who it cut to another scene. <laughs> I'm like, if she's seeing things, I don't think she is fully capable of driving right now. Hey, boo. Hey. <laughs> Can you find that out here for me? Come on, are you serious? This is my one day off. Go to the station. <laughs> it's like a chain reaction. It must have been some event that happened. And that's how we got started. I'm trying to solve the mystery, you know, on some scooby Doo's type stuff. Lady, th this is why you got to look at your surroundings. Is she on her phone? So it's like if you see somebody, you're next. You know, oh man. So I'm telling you, somebody was probably doing some sort of ritual and they summoned up something they shouldn't have been summoning or tampering with in the first place. And whoever did the summoning off themselves, but there was another person who was a part of that ritual or who was there saw them do it. And then it just started setting everything off afterwards. That's that's my theory. <laughs> it just came out. What the hell was that? It all started with some sort of seance or conjuring up something. Because maybe Trevor. someone that they love off themselves, so they were trying to, you know. You've been acting completely unhinged I, 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 I didn't know what else to do i came to you the person i'm supposed to trust most in the world okay I, but I you gotta understand for him that he, i'm scared to death this is not your normal behavior needed you Rose. and i holly i'm gonna be next those curses are not real 
Okay, you were having some sort of a... A breakdown. Okay, because I was older, I got the worst of mom's insanity. I had to fucking leave the house. That was the only way I, I could survive. Ooh, that was a good scene, but wow. Oh, man. Fuck. I wish... I feel like there's something I want to say, but like, what do you say? Because we, as the viewer, know she's not crazy. Oh God, her sister's about to let her have it. Dang. And it's understandable why. That's not her sister. Huh. Woo! In terms of jump scares, this movie, a 9 out of 10, or 4 out of 5 stars. Her head went. <laughs> oh, damn. These cases, this same pattern, it goes back further. So far, I found 20 cases involving 19 victims with a direct line linking them all together. Wait, you said, um... 20 cases, but only 19 to Somebody survived. There's always a survivor. So you have to... Somebody in order... This is also Final Destination type. I think it was like in the fifth one, spoiler alert. Like, it will skip you if you... Somebody else. What kind of messed up thing? So you're not going to get effect, uh, affected unless you end somebody else's life. I gotta put me first. I gotta put me first. Wait, so how many days has it been since she saw... Jesus Christ. I um, thought she was since some kind of What's like her name? Crazy suit. How long was it between each victim's death? I feel like no more than a week. She got what till tomorrow? Hey, how you want this, Doug? <laughs> you just why is there a smiley face on the? Mm. He claimed that he was seeing the exact same thing. What, the... what, what is it? I don't know. I'm gonna be so mad if he ends up dying because he was safe in his bubble and now she coming. In... Why, please? Just when I thought I was out. They pull me back in. Make him leave, and I'll tell you what I know. Joe, please. I'll be like, I'll fill you in when we get back in the car. <laughs> Your patient is going to die unless she kills someone. Make the biggest mess she can. I can kill someone! <laughs> He's like, hold up, it's you? And you came to me with it? Oh, heck no. Oh my gosh. Is it possible that, like, it could still get him? Even though he passed it already to somebody else, like, because she came back. Is that a mind talk? And now you're using that same verbiage on people. Mm. You're a fucking hypocrite. Because before she had a thing about, they're not crazy, or was I saying that? She just didn't like what people were talking about mentally ill patients using the word crazy and stuff. But now she's saying it. I need you to help convince me you're not a danger. Come on in, let's talk. Let's have a chat, you know. When I get this feeling, Let me think. something's um, about to happen. I'm pretty sure my fiance thinks I'm crazy. Any reason. It's supernatural. My sister has just totally shut me out and now with valid reason what rose it's madeline i've been trying your mobile all morning i'm very concerned about how we left things yesterday i want to jump that thing so quick and of God and anime on my side. Would you pull up? Let's go. Let's Oh, let's go. Uh-uh, don't run from it. Fight. Fight it. What's up? Let's go. Oh, I would have been fighting. Like, I understand I would be scared. Kick it. Swing. Uppercut. Ew. What's up, bro? You're saying
didn't spray it, but I just a pro. Yo, she could have been throwing hands. She was able to get away. So it's just twin. What? Okay. This demonic thing likes to play. Okay. Don't do it. You see me? I'm ready to fight a damn demon. I would have had my cross, like my cross is right there, but I would have been like the power of Christ compels you. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Get away from me. What? Yeah, my cross is up there. I can't get it. <laughs> I mean, I can if I wanted to, but I'm not going to get it right now. Nah, Carl, don't do it to him. So you going to do it. And they said there needs to be a witness. You got to get arrested, girl. Don't do it. Rosie, you can't be around patients. I'm having a panic attack right now. I need to calm the folk down. Is this really happening or is she seeing things? Yeah, this can't be real. Oh, he's smiling at her. This movie is a trip. It is a freaking trip. What in the world am I? What is this? had the most detailed vivid dream ever another one thank you another one thank you i can't <laughs> oh she's gonna be in the house with her mom oh lord oh it is bound to show up there, that rinky dinky. I can't even talk properly. Oh, that was a cool transition. Help me, please. Only made a mistake. Kids have um, called for help. And she did. Mm -mm, get somebody else to do it. Ooh. So her mom was trying, or she was, she did it or trying to, you know, self-delete. But then she realized, actually, I don't want to do it. It's a mistake. And her daughter was like, I didn't see nothing. I'm just going to close the door. Oh, this entity is dirty. It's going to conjure up her mom. Or pretending to be her mom. This entity knows how to act his ass off. It's okay. Very convincing. Mm. And the Oscar goes to. You wish that I would die. Because I was afraid of you. And you are a monster. Mm -hmm. It's like she's confronting the personification of her trauma, which is like her mother. And trying to overcome it. At least you got it off your chest, though. She closed the door on her again. Oh, chills. Whoa. That was like an it chapter two. Don't turn around. Oh, God, it's behind you. Please don't let nothing jump out. Please don't. know for sure you died just because you saw it burned up doesn't mean it's dead uh -uh. according to this there's like 10 minutes left there's no way it's over like that I have a feeling there's a twist for some reason if there's 10 minutes left there has to be some sort of twist behind it I feel like she can't have a happy ending I don't know. Let me shut up. I think that, that I could stay here and just, just sleep. No, you can't stay in this house. You too unstable for you, me. You can't stay. You gotta sleep. No. He's going to die. No. Please. 
Yeah, of course I'll stay with you. Oh, famous last words. Oh, man. I'll stay with you forever. What the heck? Why don't you fight it? Like, literally throw hands. Ah! Oh, that was a cool transition. Oh, no. You cannot be here. That is horrifying. Stop standing there screaming at it. She's just standing there screaming at it. She died. She died. She died. That is horrifying. Gonna be in the room where her mom was at. Oh no, she's standing right there. <gasps> she's gonna set herself on fire. Run! Get out the room! You can't see this. Ooh! I'll be like, I can't see. I'm blind. 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 Joel, run out the house. No. Oh, now you the next. Look at his eyes. Wow. Oh, no. It got him. Oh, I thought someone was clapping. But no, this was good. Parkinson. Boom, 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 boom. Why this song, though? Parker Finn, right? You are now, you made it to my list of probably one of my favorite, like, gems when it comes to writers or directors. If you want to know my rating of this movie, I'm, I'm going to give it um, a 4.5 out of 5 stars. Or maybe a 4.9 out of 5. It was damn near perfect. But my only critique was, I'll admit, getting into the film was a bit slow for me. The first act, it was kind of taking a while for things to kind of pick up. But the ending of the first act, I think, was when um, it was the birthday party and it was revealed she probably killed Mustache, the cat, and she boxed him up, gave it to her nephew. It was like, here, happy birthday. And he opened it up. It was like, auntie, what is this? But oh my goodness i cannot wait to see um zavid's reaction i think alanda may have reacted to this movie and any other um react well not all reactors but like you know i'm definitely gonna watch a couple of reactors react to this film because i must say so far this film has given the best jump scares that I have seen while doing movie commentary on my channel. So far, the best jump scares of this year. How many movies did I watch since this year started? I watched, what did I have on my channel? <laughs> I think I have the black phone. Oh, I'm sorry, my camera's blinking. The black phone, my bloody Valentine. I only done two movie comments and then I did Halloween Ends. Wow, dang, I gotta step it up when it comes to movie commentary. Um, please comment down below what other films you want me to react to because I, I need something that's on this caliber, on this level, because this, it had the scares. Okay, so let me talk about the plot and like what I think this movie is. I felt um, what this movie is trying to like say because I feel this movie has a message in regards to like mental health and how to overcome trauma or dealing with trauma or people who have experienced trauma, how they handle it in like different ways. Uh, so Rose, our main protagonist, witnessed 
her mother committing self-deletion, right? But it was revealed at the end that she let it happen to her mom, right? Or she could have put a stop to it. She could have possibly saved her mom. But unfortunately, because growing up she saw her mom, she said her mom was like a monster. She allowed it to happen to her mother and like that guilt of knowing, okay, I had something to deal with my mother's death, stayed with her and obviously she kind of like chose a profession that is in correlation to helping people who may have thoughts of self-deletion. And I couldn't help but think of um, The Haunting of Hill House where a lot of the children, please go watch the show, it's on um, Netflix, it's only 10 episodes. One of the best written series I've ever seen in my entire life. Like if I had to make like a top five list, The Haunting of Hill House will be on there or is on there. It's on Netflix if you want to check it out. It came out in like 2018. It's by Mike Flanagan, another one of my favorite writers and directors. I like his work, but uh, I feel like I don't want to spoil it. But after something happens to the family, the siblings grow up and like each of their professions are like in correspondence or related to the incident that happened when they were kids. So I couldn't help but think of that in regards to Rose, how she went through this traumatic thing when she was younger and she's now in a profession of wanting to help people who were kind of in the same position as her mother. Her sister Holly, however, is like the complete opposite. Some people, when they kind of go through trauma, it stays with them. But I think with the sister, even though she didn't directly see her mother in that state where she was like you know the sister said she dealt with the brunt of what her mother was going through and like you know seeing though seeing what was happening and she decided to get out of it and I guess with some people they tend to first and foremost I'm not a doctor I'm not knowledgeable about mental health and people's behaviors I didn't go to school for that so don't take what I'm saying with, um, as factual. I'm just interpreting what I've seen within this film, how I'm taking it and digesting it. I felt like her sister Holly, she is more avoided when it comes to things like that, when it comes to dealing with, you know, what happened in her childhood with her mother. So she's living a complete different life so far away from what she experienced and you know she has a family she has a son I'm assuming she's like a stay-at-home mom and you know she delights herself in all of these things while the sister while the sister still chooses to be wanting to help people who are suffering mentally in, the, in that aspect um I hope I, I got the messaging right within this film that trauma literally has like a grip on people some people cannot get past it and it stays with them forever and I felt like that scene where Rose was fighting the entity did it have a name I don't think so but she was like literally trying to fight it and the mind is so strong what you see or what you allow excuse me what you allow to happen to you it will like forever stay with you or you can choose to try to overcome it. I like in a way that this film didn't have somewhat of a happy ending. Like I just had a feeling it was going to be some sort of a twist. I thought she was going to end up getting her ex boo. But she ended up passing the curse to her, her old flame. But I like that scene where it seemed like she was fighting it for that brief moment. But unfortunately it like literally went inside of her and became her and it's a part of her i again i am not knowledgeable when it comes like i didn't study psychology when i was in college so i i don't really know what other things that i could like say in regards to how people handle trauma i feel like i just know there are probably some people who will allow the trauma to just stay with them. I can't help but think of Lori Strode how 40 years have passed and it still has a hold on her and she cannot rest or truly move on with her life until she faces 
her trauma, which is her experience with uh, Michael Myers. And there are some people who truly, they go through something and it's like they lock it in a box and it's like pushed in the furthest parts of their mind and they completely forget about it and move on. And then there are people who really want to, they don't want it to continue to allow it to affect them. So they literally face it head on. It may not, it's not going to be easy. It's going to be hard. But as long as they push through and they keep fighting and they can overcome it, they can conquer it and now move on with their life. And not have to feel confined, feel follow, feel like this lingering thing that's like hanging over them. They could truly like just move on. Um, so I think this movie, while the entity itself was scary, I think the entity just represented trauma. And whether or not you're going to allow it to continue to follow you throughout your whole life or you're gonna like try to overcome it and then also how depending on certain incidences trauma can be passed on whether it's like within the family or it's like with people among you trauma can be somewhat passed on you know what? i'm not gonna even bring up something that happened recently I, again, I'm recording this in advance, but there was like another and we've lost uh, that, that I don't I don't you know, what? I don't think I'm going to go down that road. So, um, yeah, jump scares. I think the one that completely got me was the sister and her head that went like, whoo, but the part with the therapist that was really good. Like, she's sitting there having a whole conversation. That entity is just, like, disguised as her therapist. And then when she got the phone call, I thought, like, wow. Like, the jump scares in this was so, so far the best I've ever seen in um, movies. So, I gotta give a round of applause for that. Um, no, no, no. I think the one where she was trying to listen, because um, she heard the entity whisper her name. And then the next shot, the, the girl was right there. She... I think this movie got me three times. <laughs> oh man, but it was really good. I'm giving it a 4.9 out of 5 stars. I, I don't think my mom would want to watch this. My mom is really not the horror type. Her favorite horror film is Halloween, but she's not someone that's into the paranormal, the gory kind of horror film. So this would not be up her alley, but... Yeah, comment down below if you've seen this film. What would you rate it out of five stars? What did you think of it? No, it was just really good. Uh, uh, I'll admit, when I was watching it after the girl, you know, did the Joker thing, it, it still was kind of slow. And I'm like, I don't know about this movie, if it's going to make it up on my channel. Because trust and believe, I have sat here and watched films that did not see the light of day on my channel and other films I didn't even finish it because it was so bad um scary movie <laughs> I'm sorry guys I know that one the poll a while ago and you guys wanted me to react to it but that movie was just not it but yeah I'm gonna conclude the review here thank you guys so much if you made it to the end I appreciate it so much give this video a thumbs up if you happen to like it Please comment down below what do you think of this film. Also, give me recommendations because you could be shouted out and I could be reacting to it. Um, please comment down below the hidden emoji that's somewhere within the reaction. Please don't look at the comment section to cheat. Um, hit that subscribe button if you are new. Turn on your post notifications, please. Please, now that I'm back, I'm back, you know. Um, please turn on your post notifications so you know when I upload, even though I have it in my channel banner that I upload either 11 a.m. or 7 p.m. But I hope you guys have a great day and you will see me in the next movie commentary reaction. Bye!